Welcome Habibi with another reaction with a toxic couple. As I'm saying, we did the first time baby metal, but I find the guide by myself. You just suggested with no link, so I did I didn't do a good job with finding the right video because I'm not a fan and I don't I know nothing about them. So I did decide to do the guide. But this one it was suggested from the comment from this comment exactly. Uh, and I'm gonna try to give my best like uh, when it goes to understanding how they perform so i will not take any conclusion before we go and we're gonna do their solo so you just need to be patient before we do their uh, performance and music songs we start with the guide to understand where they're from how they're from i'm already familiar with the band from japan some of you are educating me about the, the previous video but this one is the, the update so let's just check it but before we check it make sure to subscribe for me if you want me to keep doing reaction videos i appreciate every one of you guys and give me feedbacks about the t-shirt if you like it be simple still not on the store yet this one too still not on the store yet but i'm gonna put it soon on the shop guys so if you want to show us support there is buy me a coffee downstairs you can show us support guys and let's dive in to know about baby metal a baby metal guide there will be several other helpful videos in the description if you want to check those out now onto the video baby metal is a japanese kawaii metal band which is a sub genre of metal they invented the name baby metal is in reference to the birth of a new style of metal not the age of the girls as many people assume the original three members include Sue Metal, Yui Metal, and Moa Metal. They are backed by a group of musicians known as the Kami Band for live shows. They were formed in 2010 and have released three studio albums thus far. Now let's discuss how they got started. Baby Metal started as a subgroup of Sakura Gakuin, which is an all-girl idol group that was formed by a Muse talent agency in 2010. Sakura Gakuin normally contains between 10 and 12 members at a time who fall between the ages of 10 and 15 years old. With the theme of school life and extracurricular club activities, when the academic year ends at the end of March, the group releases an annual studio album, new members transfer into the group, and others who finish compulsory education graduate after their senior year and leave SG to go on to pursue other ventures. It should be noted, Sakura Gakuin is not an actual school, it is just themed around school life, all the girls still go to a normal school as well. Sakura Gakuin has several subgroups, referred to as okay, clubs. Okay, basically in the first they didn't say that. I thought that this is the school that take you directly to the path of entertainment. So I didn't get it in the beginning, but this one is just a regular school that for entertainment and you they show you a path, like for example you want to be an actor, I don't know, a magician, like yeah, and you go to normal school too also like for studying normal things, not just about it. I didn't get the, the first video, it wasn't. Which is how Baby Metal started. Baby Metal was the heavy music club, which was formed by producer Keiko Bayashi. Su, Yui, and Mo all did Su, Baby Metal Yui stuff, while Mo. also doing other things in Sakura Gakuin at the same time, for about three years. In 2013, Baby Metal split off from SG and became an independent act due to Su's graduation and Baby Metal's rising popularity. Yui and Moa remained in SG until their graduation in 2015. Some of the other clubs in SG include Twinkle Stars Baton Club, Sleepies Go Home Club, Mini Patty Cooking Club, and several others. Sakura Gak so basically guys, where you're gonna find it mute, because I mute it for a reason of copyright, so I don't wanna get any copyright strike and some stuff like this, so I'm gonna mute it in case. In case. Gakuin has released 10 studio albums, one for each year since their formation, with songs from all the clubs and SG itself as a whole unit. On September 1, 2020, it was announced that Sakura Gakuin will continue on as an eight-member group until August 31, 2021, at which point the remaining members will graduate, then, unfortunately, Sakura Gakuin will disband. Now, let's go meet the members of Baby Metal. はい、私たちベビーメタルはスーメタル、ユーメタル、モアメタルの3人グループです。えっと、スーメタルがボーカルを担当していて、私たちユーメタルとモアメタルがスクリームアンドダンスを担当しています。
First, we have Sue Metal, full name Suzuka Nakamoto, who was born on December 20, 1997 in Hiroshima, Japan. Sue Metal is the tallest member of Baby Metal standing at about 5 foot 2 inches. She has been a performer most her life, starting off by winning a contest to appear in several Jewel Drop commercials in 2002. Then, in 2006, Sue was admitted to Actors School Hiroshima, where she also performed with her sister Himika Nakamoto in a duo called Tween. In 2007, she was signed by a Muse talent agency after finishing in second place in an audition held by the company. She was then placed in a group called Karen Girls, which was formed to sing songs for the anime Zetai Karen Children, which was disbanded after the show ended. Sue also performed in a musical called Adventurers in 2009 and 10. Later on in 2010, Sue became one of the founding members of Sakura Gakuin, where she was the lead vocalist of the Heavy Music Club and became the second student council president, then graduated in 2013, but continued on as the lead vocalist of Baby Metal regardless. Sue was chosen for the lead vocalist role at such a young age due to her surprisingly powerful vocals and unique stage presence. In Baby Metal's first two albums, Sue Metal has four solo songs, Akatsuki, Rondo of Nightmare, Amore, and No Rain No Rain. Amore. Sue usually takes the leadership role for Baby Metal in most situations, she will do the bulk of the talking in most of their media appearances. はい、と、背中を押してくれるというかターニングポイントになっている場所だと思うので、今度またウェンブリーでイギリスのお客さんに背中を押してもらいたいなっていうふうに思ってます。She has worked very hard on improving her English over the years as well. We are very honored. Uh, at first, we are very nervous, but after a few songs, the audience reacts to our singing and dancing. They are doing the folk sign and singing along. It was great. Baby metal is a combination of kawaii, acute, and metal, uh, but this song is... Yeah, they didn't give me the vibe of metal. They give me the vibe of cuteness, but they don't give me the vibe of metal. But we still didn't listen to the song, so we wait, we wait. Basically, all this, I don't want to pause it at all because I already watched this part. I already know it. Uh, it's just a small update with little bit things. I don't think it's going to be a lot bigger, bigger update shows a uh, mature side of baby metal and I really like the choreography. There are also several songs in which she sings entirely in English, like the one from Dusk Till Dawn and Elevator Girl, for example. Sue can also be seen addressing foreign crowds in their native languages as well. She just know a couple words. Sue said she had to learn how to rap specifically for their song BMC, where she stated she had to quote. Fines also said BMC is one of her favorite songs to perform, along with Metataro and Omagini. Sue is well known for her commanding stage presence, great crowd control, and her lethal death glares. Oh yeah, I know she they, they spoke about. It. Oh. 
Despite her powerful nature on stage, Sue is very sweet and dorky when not in full metal mode. The fox. Yeah, what does it mean, the fox? <laughs> oh, and she has also been crucified on stage several times. Yes, like Baby Metal actually crucified their lead singer multiple times. Oh, I don't like this part, so I'm going to skip it, guys. Yui Metal, full name Yui Mizuno, born on June 20, 1999 in Kawasaki City, Japan. She is slightly shorter than Sue Metal, standing at about 5 foot 1 inch tall. Yui started taking dance classes at a very young age. She was inspired to join the entertainment industry after watching Sue Metal's former group Karen Girls, as their music helped her endure the life-threatening illness of a family member. In 2010 she was signed She's by a model Ames and was eventually placed in Sakura Gakuin, where she would be a member of Mini Patty Cooking Club, donning the Yellow Bandana, Twinkle Stars Baton Club, and the Heavy Music Club, where she would take the role of Scream and Dance. Yui was chosen for Baby Metal because of her short stature, similar appearance to Moa Metal, and her compatible voice with Sue Metal. Yui graduated from Sakura Gakuin in 2015 alongside Moa. Yui's most notable physical trait would be her cute chubby cheeks. Her favorite food is tomatoes, which she prefers to eat whole, and she has said she would want to eat tomatoes, quote, even when the world is ending. And it says that your favorite food is tomatoes. True. True? Uh, and tomatoes, do you like eating tomatoes, like, just chomping into them, like eating an apple, or do you just like tomatoes on things? <laughs> yeah, eating it just like that? <laughs> Yui loves to stargaze and has stated she enjoys reading books about constellations and that she dreams of going to space one day. She is also generally considered to be the best dancer in baby metal. This has earned her the nickname Yui Bot because of her precise dancing on stage, as well as her tendency to drift off and react slowly to things happening around her. This way? There it is, the fox on. I saw this one. She's out. Yui is fairly shy and timid and usually doesn't speak a lot in interviews unless directly spoken to. She does, however, just stare directly into people's souls instead. <laughs> Yui got to perform Karen Girl's song Over the Future with Sue and Moa at the Legend D concert, which she said was a dream come true. Yui and Moa also danced to Over the Future for their entrance exam into Sakura Gakuin. Yui has done a few special solo performances on shows around her birthday, such as taking oh. the lead vocal role for Headbanger on her 15th birthday and performing a cover of the song Cho Koto Love at the Legend 1999 show. And last but certainly not least, we have Moa Metal, full name Moa Kikuchi, born on July 4, 1999 in Nagoya, Japan. Moa is the shortest member of Baby Metal, standing at just 5 feet tall. Like the others, Moa was also performing at a very young age. She was signed by Amuse in 2007, after winning an audition held by the company. In 2010, Moa was placed in Sakura Gakuin, where she was a member of Mini Paddy Cooking Club, donning the green bandana, 
Twinkle Star's Baton Club and the Heavy Music Club, where she also took the role of scream and dance. Like Yui, Moa was chosen for her similar appearance and compatible voice. In her final year in SG, Moa was elected as the student council president and then graduated in 2015 alongside Yui. Moa's most notable physical trait would be her dimples and glowing smile. If you are still trying to remember which member is which and you're trying to find Moa, just look for the dimples, you can't miss them. Moa loves food and she'll make sure you know it too as she always finds a way to bring up food in interviews. What are you looking forward to on this tour of America? Hi, it's America. First, I'm excited to America. I'm excited to America. Pizza, But everybody Moa has also developed an odd habit of staring at people's hair in interviews, especially Sue Metal. Uh, activities and also absorbing it up in the mosh pit. Moa is known to be a very emotional person and cries easily, but she also spreads love and positivity to everyone around her. <laughs> what do you think? makes people love baby metal so much? You're asking me? I'm asking you, what do you think? <laughs> mm, I want to know myself, yeah. but I love everyone and uh, I hope we can continue to get love and support. Moa can play the guitar a bit, but has admitted herself that she doesn't practice nearly as much as she probably should. She also loves to mess around and have fun during live shows participating in all sorts of shenanigans on stage. Moa has also done a few special solo performances on birthday-related shows, such as performing a cover of Love Machine at the Legend 1999 show, playing the acoustic guitar part for Shine at the Legend well, well, I show, see this and one. taking over the lead vocal role for Headbanger on several occasions. We also have the subunit of baby metal, known as Black Baby Metal, which is when Yui Metal and Moa Metal perform songs as a duo without Sue Metal. Hi, it's Black Baby Metal. Wa Yui Metal and Moa Metal no two no group no koto nan desu ke do. Konkai no atarashi album de wa rap metal to ka Black Metal. We rap too. They can rap. This one it wasn't in the previous one. Uh, this one, yeah, they are. I'm hearing it for the first time, so they can rap. I'm trying to do a lot of work. Just as Sue had her solo songs, there are four black baby metal songs, Anadari Daisaksen, Four No Yuta, GJ, and Sis Anger. Moa and Yui have been close friends for a long time, and they were often paired together in Sakura Gakuin due to their similar size and appearance. Some believe the black part refers to the picture stories played before their songs. In the stories, Yui metal and Moa metal are trapped and changed into wicked characters singing rap music. Others believe it is in reference to the genre black metal, which makes sense considering that black baby metal songs tend to be on the heavier side. Yui and Moa actually wrote For No You to themselves while on the tour bus between shows. So in one group there is two group. There is the baby metal and there is Moa and the... Yeah, I forgot the other one. The backup dancers you often see on stage with Yui and Moa during Black Baby Yui. Metal songs are also Yui. referred to as Sister Bones. Moa has performed Black Baby Metal songs on her own as a solo on several occasions, but that will be discussed more in a bit. Okay. Next, we have the brains behind Baby Metal, Koba Metal, full name K. Kobayashi, is Baby Metal's producer and the person who came up with the entire concept of Baby Metal. Koba Metal had been working at Amuse as a producer since 1996 and was a longtime metal fan. He felt that the metal scene was getting increasingly old and that it needed a jolt of youth to jumpstart the genre's popularity again. After seeing Sue perform at the Karen Girls Farewell concert, Koba Metal was taken back by how strong. It's kind of true, we don't see too much uh, rock uh, 
I don't know, metal is I think is hard rock, right? So I I think yeah, the only the guys who perform in right now they are old, they are very old. Or I'm just not familiar with rock. It's not my genre. I, I you know I have a different point of view of it. So we're gonna describe it in a moment when we go more and more. We're gonna see how uh, how we go with it. Song of voice and stage presence she had, which gave him the idea to have her be the front woman for the J-pop metal fusion band he had been planning. The idea being that Sue was such a strong performer that she wouldn't be overwhelmed by a full metal band on stage. He stated that the specific trio of Sue Metal, Yui Metal, and Moa Metal was the perfect combination, saying, quote, when I first heard Sue Metal sing, there's not that many singers that sing the way she does, it was very direct to me, and metal bands don't usually have any dance aspect, so I thought it would be interesting to add that to the True. new future of metal, hence I selected Yui Metal and Moa Metal to be the twin factor in the choreography. When the girls were chosen for baby metal, none of them had any previous experience with the metal genre, and they initially found it to be scary and were shocked at the music they began working on. So, it wasn't until they yeah it's it's like kind of a true you know when when you don't understand something it's kind of scary for you for example the metal when i see them yell and stuff like this it's kind of scary to me that's why i don't enjoy the music even if they have deeper uh, lyrics and maybe good lyrics but i don't pay attention to the lyrics because they yell too much and uh, as one of you guys in the comment explained to me like that was the old method and they trying to perf they trying to update it like make it seems like better not just the alien and some stuff they saw metallica perform live that they began to love and respect the metal genre now we have the person behind the choreography for baby metal Makiko Dance? metal full name Makiko mizuno who has been the choreographer for groups like perfume sakura gakuin and baby metal and no despite having the same last name as yui they are not related Makiko began teaching dance based on her experience in ballet and street dance in 1996 at the age of 19. She has been a key part of Baby Metal's success from day one. Like the girls, Makiko had no previous experience with metal music, but was able to adjust her groundbreaking choreography to the music as well as evolving the style of the dances with the girls as they grew older. Now let's discuss the musicians behind the girls. A quick side note, but whenever you see the guys dressed in skeleton costumes, that is not a real band. They are known as Baby Bones and were there to pretend to play the instruments while the music was played on a backing track because Baby Metal couldn't always afford to have a live band early on. Now, onto the real band, the Kami Band. The Kami Band is a session band that consists of various members that rotate in and out, often seen in white robes and corpse paint, depicting Japanese spirits. There have been a lot of different people who have played in the Kami band over the years, here are a few of the most notable ones. One of the guitarists, Mikio Fujioka, sadly passed away in January 2018 at the age of 36 due to injuries suffered from an accident while stargazing. In recent years, we've also seen the addition of the Western Kami band who tours with Baby Metal overseas. The I think we get this information in the in the first previous one. It's, I don't know how it's updated. It's just the small Western things. The Western Kami band has resulted in a change of costume for the Kamis as they now wear darker robes and masks. It should also be noted, but it isn't necessarily the Kami band members playing in the studio recordings of Baby Metal songs, as they aren't technically considered a part of Baby Metal. However, Leda Cygnus has been credited with writing the bass and guitar parts for a few Baby Metal songs. There is a lot of lore around Baby Metal, which can get... Guys, I would like to give... Um, I would like to give them a try, like uh, listening to their music and stuff to, uh, to understand better. Okay, I'm gonna. I'm not gonna. Uh, I'm not gonna react to this one because it's against mine. So I'm gonna say skip it directly. We're gonna move on from this one, guys. 
Sorry for that, but we're gonna move on from that. Anyway, so what I was saying, uh, I don't enjoy it. I said I will give my opinion about it if I enjoy it or not. I don't like the rock, I don't like metal, I don't like anything about it. Uh, but what I like is that I know the leader, she have a pretty voice because I heard it in the first one. She have really a pretty voice. When she's singing, she have a beautiful voice. But when she starts yelling, it's just, it loses me a little bit because I don't like this kind of things. So when she starts singing, it's it's much more for me. I will give it a try to listen to their music. Even if I don't react to them, I will listen to them. I just give it a try and see. I could be a fan. You never know because in the beginning, everything is scary for you till, till you start hearing it more and more and more. You understand what does it mean. Okay, when they speak about this kind of things, is when they speak about this kind of things is against my beliefs. So I will just move on. You might hate on me on the comment, but guys, I'm sorry for that. But I will not react to this kind of things when it comes to this kind of things. I don't believe in them, I don't react to them. If it's normal fox, yeah, but if you take it as something else, no. Okay, more lore. Let's see now. What is this? The tribute song to their fans. They made an English version of the one as well, because what they were this? touched by all the overseas fans who learned the Japanese lyrics to their songs, so they wanted to do a song in English for them. Oh, okay. When they introduce themselves, yeah, but they you know when you hear her like this, it's like she's she's in a movie. You know when when you watch a movie and then the song starts singing, like you think she's like you are in a movie. She's really she have a really pretty voice. They say baby metal death is a play on the Japanese word death, which is the word used for introducing Fuck. yourself, like saying I am or we are. By simply mispronouncing Sue Metal Death, by saying Sue Metal Death, they have a cute and metal way of introducing themselves. The song Baby Metal Death was a song they were <laughs> depicted in the Headbanger music video. This is a recurring item you will see appear in a lot of Baby Metal Death. sign up for what did I watch? Sue Metal has been crucified on stage several times. Look guys, I'm gonna stop it here because I, I don't like this kind of performance. I don't think I'm gonna do any more update. Uh, send me songs, send me songs. Babe. Or we just, I just skip it. Skip all these guys. What is this? Yeah, give me the guide. Okay, it's basically part of the guide, but it's just against my belief, so I will not go to react on it anyway. Sue Metal was just 12 years old, and Yui Metal and Moa Metal were just 11 years old. Baby Metal's first CD single was a collaboration with the band Kiva of Akiba. Really this collaboration consisted of each band covering the other's Innocent song, and which cute. led to Baby Metal performing Kiba's song, Kimito Anime Ga Mitai, at a lot of their early shows. In 2012, Baby Metal performed outside of Japan for the first time at the Anime Festival Asia in Singapore. Throughout 2012 and 13, they released singles Headbanger, Ijime Dame Zetai, and Megitsune, leading up to 2014, which would prove to be a very big year for Baby Metal. In February 2014, Baby Metal released their first self titled album containing 13 tracks. The album was received very well by both critics and the public, with it charting in Japan, America, Germany, and the UK. The official video for Gimme Chalk. I saw that they perform in Germany, in Hamburg. There's some groups that are really famous, but I never heard of them. Yeah, it's surprising like how I didn't hear of them. Maybe I'm just close in some genre like hip hop. I'm just close in the hip hop and. You know, just closing this area, so I don't go to the other areas. Maybe I should, I should, I should, I should start like um, opening my area. Like, <laughs> what the fuck? I just <laughs> divide my channel. Chocolate went viral on YouTube in 2014, leading to many people discovering baby metal for the first time around the world. 
In the beginning of March, Baby Metal became the youngest ever female act to headline the world-famous Budokan Arena, with about 10,000 oh, okay. fans sorry. each sorry. night. At the end of the second show, they announced that Baby Metal will be going on their first world tour throughout the year, including stops in France and Germany. After a fan-driven campaign titled Baby Metal for Sonosphere UK 2014, Baby Metal was added to the Sonosphere lineup. This appearance at Sonosphere 2014 became one of the most important performances in Baby Metal's history. Sonosphere 2014 was really the first time Baby Metal performed on a big stage outside of Japan. Many fans recognize this show as the moment Baby Metal was legitimized on a worldwide stage. はい、えっと、今年私が一番思い出に残っていることは、メタル好きの方に受け入れてもらえるのかなとかすごく不安な気持ちでいっぱいだったんですけど、いざライブが始まったら皆さんを盛り上がってくださって、で、メタルの好きな方にも受け入れられたんだ、ベビーメタルってと